Yayati was a Puranic king. He was the son of King Nahusha. He marries Devyani and takes Sarmishtha as his mistress on her request. His story was mentioned in Mahabharat Adi Parva and also in Bhagavat Puran. His story gives a moral message that no matter how many sexual pleasures a man enjoys as a young man, he would never truly feel fulfilled. Shukracharya was the guru of the demons. One day his daughter Devyani was taking a bath in forest pool with Sarmishtha, daughter of the Dhanav king Vrishparva. They left their sari on the bank. After the bath, Sarmishtha confuses with Devyani's sari with hers and puts it on her assuming it as hers. Devyani returns and scolds Sarmishtha for wearing her sari. She criticizes Sarmishtha that her father, King Vrishparva, and his kingdom is living happily because of her father Shukracharya's blessings. Annoyed with the words of Devyani, Sarmishtha pushed her into a well and left the forest. Later, Yayati, son of Nahusha, passes by the well. Seeing Devyani, he helps her to climb out of it. After some time, Shukracharya started searching for his daughter. Later, he came to know the truth. He, with outrage, went to the Vrishparva and threatened to leave the kingdom. Vrishparva begged Devyani for her forgiveness. Devyani agreed, but on condition that Sarmishtha should serve her as a maid. Vrishparva agrees to this since he fears that his kingdom would be in trouble without the sage Shukracharya. Sarmishtha also agrees to this to save the kingdom and becomes Devyani's maid servant. One day Devyani goes on a picnic with Sarmishtha. There she again meets Yayati as he was in a hunt. Yayati was so madly enchanted by Sarmishtha's beauty. Devyani observed this and asked Yayati to marry her as he already held her hand while helping her out of the well. Yayati presumed that it is not dharma for a king to marry a Brahmin girl. He fears Shukracharya and tells Devyani that he will marry her if her father agrees with this. Surprisingly, Shukracharya agrees to for their marriage, but on condition that Yayati shouldn't have sex with Devyani. Yayati marries Devyani and looks after her well. As days passes, Sarmishtha had crushed on Yayati. She asks him to give her a son and convinces him that it's a dharma to fulfill a desire of princess. Yayati already had a secret crush on Sarmishtha and agrees to give her child. So they involved in a sexual relationship. In due course, Sarmishtha gives birth to three sons, Druhiyu, Anu and Puru. Eventually, Devyani came to know that her maid Sarmishtha was the mistress of Yayati. She complains to her father. Shukracharya curses Yayati with premature old age in punishment for having relationship with maid. Devyani was very sad at this. She asks her father to make her husband young again. Shukracharya told her that it was not possible to take back the curse, but a son of Yayati could exchange his youth with him. Yayati asks his children to give up one of their youth to revitalize him. No one accepts to that except Puru. Puru agrees to sacrifice his youth to rejuvenate his father. Yayati subsequently enjoyed the pleasures of the sex for many years. After long time, he came to realize that no pleasure of sense can make him happy and all of them are nothing. He returns the youthfulness to his son, saying, Know this for certain, not all the food, wealth 
and women of the world can appease the lust of a single man of uncontrolled senses. Craving for sense pleasures is not removed but aggravated by indulgence, just as ghee poured into fire increases it. One who aspires to peace and happiness should instantly renounce craving and seek instead that which neither grows old nor ceases, no matter how old the body may become. After returning youthfulness to his son, he went to the forest to spend his remaining life in spiritual path. So the moral of the story is, craving for sex pleasures is not removed but aggravated by more indulgence, just as ghee poured into fire increases it. I hope you learn. God bless you all.